Hi friends, welcome to my channel and today in this video I'm going to show you how to add VMware infrastructure basically VCSA to VMware uh, Veeam Backup and Replication 10. So you can add either uh, your ESXi host or to the uh, standalone ESXi host to the Veeam Backup uh, also you can add your vCenter server or vCenter virtual appliance to your um, Veeam Backup and Replication uh, so it can uh, work in both ways like if you having a small company and you having a standalone ESXi host without without any uh, virtual appliance or vCenter server you can you can utilize the Veeam um, for the standalone and also if you have a larger infrastructure where you have a multiple ESXi host uh, with the multiple uh, vCenter server or multiple VCSA appliance you can do or add add everything um, uh, to the Veeam, and you can use the uh, take the benefit of the backup and replications for the Veeam. So, uh, in this screenshot, you can see here I having two ESXi hosts in my uh, environment, current environment, and both ESXi hosts is going to be added in one VCSA. So, I'm going to add my VCSA to the um, Veeam backup and replication, and then uh, Veeam back uh, basically ESXi host or VCSA is going to be take snapshot during the during the Veeam when the backup is going to schedule, and then it's going to check the application's consistency. And uh, once uh, both things done, it's going to schedule the backup, and then it's going to install uh, store that backup in backup repository. So we are going to see how this process is going to be happen. So uh, here is my basically lab environment, which we are going to uh, follow in this video. So I have three virtual machines basically, which I have set up for this lab. So my first one is Wintuket DC01, which is my domain controller having active active and DNS role, and my domain name is victorinfosol.lab. And this is my Veeam server, which is running on uh, Windows Server 2016, which we have well installed in last video. And um, uh, this is the same server. This is uh, basically a fresh installed Veeam backup and replication 10 with the community edition. And this is my um, uh, vCenter virtual appliance, uh, uh, which is uh, name is uh, IN INVCS01, and this is running VMware Server Appliance 6.7, and IP address is 192.168.0.203. So, so let's check out this infrastructure. So here you can see my and DC, which is Win2K12 DC01, which having uh, IP address and active directory uh, IP address uh, uh, 192.168.0.201 and this is my domain controller active directory and DNS rule is running and this is my Veeam server which we have installed in last video so win 2 gets 16 Veeam server and this is joining my domain so I'm going to go ahead and launch my Veeam backup and replication console which is Veeam backup and replication 10 I'm going to connect with this and the second I have uh, last one which is uh, my ESX uh, uh, my v uh, vCenter virtual appliance you can see INVCS01 victimfossil.lan so this machine having uh, two ESXi host uh, in a one prod cluster and having three virtual machine running on this uh, e uh, this VCS itself so if you see here about you can see the client version is showing 6.7 so this is basically 6.7 appliance and uh, to add the server you need to go to inventory and just click on uh, virtual infrastructure and add server and you can see here we have a VMware vSphere we have a Hyper-V and we have protection group also which can be utilized for cloud servers or physical server so I'm going to click on add VMware private cloud infrastructure servers to the inventory and here we have a uh, v cloud we can also add a v cloud and v spare which is basically add v center server recommended or standalone uh, uh, v spare hypervisor esxi to inventory so i'm going to add my v center server so click on it and then you can provide the fqdn name or the ip address so i'm going to check fqdn so inv vcsa01 dot victor in full and you need to create a one service account if you don't have um, there uh, on VCSA for backup uh, for now I'm going to use my 
administrator account since this is the demo environment administrator at vSphere dot local and password for this account so I recommend you to go ahead and create one service account for this uh, uh, for Veeam backup so go ahead and click on apply and it's going to give you some certificate uh, warning so go ahead and click continue and now it's going to check your connectivity and saving server configurations so now you can see the connection options has been saved and successfully uh, created vCenter server successfully created with it's got the uh, host information also like uh, version and the uh, build number so go ahead and click on cancel and now if you go there you can see all the virtual machines which is running on this cluster and also you can browse as the uh, cluster level and the host level itself so this is how you can basically uh, add the ESXi or the VCSA to the uh, Veeam backup and server and let's do and run the um, uh, schedule few backup so go ahead and click on backup infrastructure first and uh, make sure you have a backup repository where you want to uh, uh, store the backups of the virtual machines so I have a default backup repository here so I'm going to call it like uh, this is automatically created during the installation of Veeam in last video so I'm going to call it like you can say default I'm going to remove I'm going to put it local backup repository just click on finish so either if you want to go ahead and check other details like path where it's mapped repository uh, concurrent tasks how much it can run mount server where this is going to be mounted so it's mounted on the server itself so you can see all these uh, things and if you run it it's going to check all the pre-requests so this is uh, uh, basically existing uh, repository so we don't need to do everything just go ahead and rename if you wish to rename uh, since this is taken the default name so I have renamed it to local backup repository and now I'm going on home button and I'm going to create some backup jobs so uh, virtual machine and then call it like VMware VMs backup and click next and now go ahead and click on add and you can see our VCSA is added here so now I'm going to add all three machines here under the backup so should add all three at once so you can see the size of um, a virtual machine and go ahead and click next and storage where you want to store so we have only one backup repository which is local so I'm going to go with that and also you have retention policy how much time you want to re uh, retain our uh, uh, like restore point so I'm going to change it to date days and I'm going to make it 15 days and click next and if you're having any application awareness backup you can do that also so now when you want to reschedule so I'm going to run uh, basically you can say every day at 6 p.m. so I'm going to make that change here in the schedule so every day 6 p.m. it's going to run and it's going to keep a 15 days backup for the retention so we are good click apply and click on finish so you can see now backup jobs is created VMware backup and it's got the type VMware backup and three objects is there and the target and everything when the next schedule is to run so I'm going to just click and start the backup now so the first backup is going to initiate I have initiated manual and next time it's going to always follow the schedule and it's going to keep all the backup for 15 days uh, as per the retention policy which we have configured so it's going to take some time to get the backup started and you can see it's started the backup for the uh, for VCSA01 
so it's going to check all the virtual machine size and that's going to uh, reset the CBT like change change block tracker and it's going to take the backup from the incremental backup mostly but you can you can always change change the backup uh, for the like when you want to do the incremental and when you want, want to do the full backup for the virtual machines so this backup is around I guess 90 GB so it's going to take um, five to ten minutes is my infrastructure to get the backup completed so so this is all how you can add the so this is all about how how to add VMware uh, infrastructure VCS to uh, Veeam backup and replication 10 and how you can initially shut up the backup jobs to uh, run uh, take the backup of the virtual machines which is inside the VCS so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me on my given mail IDs. thank you once again bye bye